the FMI, staying for Functional Mockup Interface Standard, proposes an interface to co-simulate elements coming from different tools. Both Simplora and Skate Suite support this standard. We will export a functional mockup unit, so that's named FMU, from Skate Suite, and then import it into Simplora. So I'm first going to create a configuration. Let's name it FMU, so I can quickly choose to come here. So this is going to appear here. I'm going to change the settings for this. In code integration, I do select my target, FMU. OK, I have some options here to choose if I want, uh, while doing my simulation, to record a scenario, to replay later in Skate Suite. I can also check Enable White Box. So when I start my simulation, this is going to connect to the Skate Suite simulator, and you will see both sides simulating at, uh, at the same time in parallel. So for the moment, I will just keep the default I will have black box simulation. And in my compiler here, because Simplora is 64 bits, I need to specify that I do want a 64-bit FMU. So when this is done, it's as simple as selecting my root node and press build. It generates my code, builds it, and put that into an FMU. So I can go into my project and in the FMU directory I do have here the generated FMU that can be directly imported into Simplora. So now that OpenL has generated FMU, I will just have to import it into Simplora. And to do that, it is uh, very simple. So I go to Subcircuit and I just select Add FMU Component. Then I will choose the right file, which is this one. Open it. And then it will create the model for you into Simplora. So I will just uh, now connect the uh, interfaces, one to control my switch, and uh, then I will just connect the uh, information that I need to control the switch, uh, the switch, sorry, which are the current that goes here, and the other one, uh, which is the motor speed that should go here. The last thing that I have to do is to enter the different parameters for the controller. So let's do it. Uh, first of all, I have to um, disable the different pin uh, for the parameters I have to enter. So that should be it. period is one microsecond uh, threshold minus 2.5 the low one is minus 2.5 dt is also one microsecond and that's it after that I will just have to uh, set up the uh, transient simulations and then the different reports that we want to observe after the simulation.
And now I can just run the simulation. So I just go to analysis, right click and analyze. And now the simulation is over and I can uh, have a look at the results. So I can here observe uh, the command sent to the, my switch. And what I can see is that um, when the command is equal to one, uh, the current rises into the motor as the transistor lets it flow. And when the uh, command is equal to minus one, well, the switch is blocked and then the current drops. And uh, here we can see on the current waveform the aesthetic effect, uh, which is regulating the current here. And uh, the regulation goes on uh, until the speed, uh, the regulation speed is not reached. So this is what you can observe here uh, on the plot of the uh, rotor speed of the machine. And this is this waveform, is, this behavior is actually. Uh, expected since uh, we haven't uh, put any load on the uh, electrical machine. In two very simple steps, we have seen how straightforward it is to run a scale generated controller in Simplora. It enables early prediction of the behavior of a complex system, including its software parts. Simplora plant model can be enriched with more complex simulation models, including reduced order models or co simulation with many other 3D NCS tools. The software component used for the simulation will have the exact same behavior on the actual target as it is rigorously the same application code.